Yeah, so I came from the kind of traditional side of Cisco, which is primarily, you know, founded on a hardware business, you know, loading some licensing on top. A number of our forecasting tools and sales tools have been homegrown over the years and are deeply integrated into Cisco's ecosystem. Understanding how business works. I um, I was offered the role to come lead the SaaS business, of which is Cisco. Um, and I got the seat, was asked to take the job on Christmas Eve in the middle of a shutdown where I had not to any of uh, my RevOps team or any of those because everyone's on vacation at that point. And within a matter of days, was asked to give a fairly detailed view of where I thought that current quarter was going to land um, and then to walk backwards into how I thought that was going to land and provide an interface back into my BE, into my, uh, into my finance organization, and then be able to get into the second half planning all within like three weeks without having access to any of the team. And if I didn't have the tools within Clary, um, I would have been in a, um, I would have been challenged to be able to execute that. So I had the new CRO having some predictive views, having the different, uh, for lack of a better term, the different modules that are within Clary that allow me to look at the shape, the velocity of my pipeline, and then to look at the scoring of the individual opportunities with that, like all of that together mixed. I was able to land a fairly accurate forecast and it gave me the leverage I needed um, to negotiate what I needed to do to um, affect my next half plan um, as that was also in negotiations at the moment. So um, new leader in a role, no access to humans, um, spreadsheets. I would have died by spreadsheets. Like Clary was the thing that helped me actually prove my value really, really fast and allowed me to sound articulate about a business that I had like a hot minute being in the chair.